Long overdue, I have to get this Lost Vape drone back together. Uh, this is Aussie Geek Vapors mod that he kindly lent me to take apart for testing the DNA 250C board. And um, I've had it on the bench for literally months now. And um, yeah, it's time. It's got to go back together and get it back to him. Uh, I think he's actually going to do some temperature control tests on it. So um, I'm really holding him up. I'm sorry, mate. Okay, um, yeah, now i got to remember how the hell this thing goes back together. It's been a while. Um, the board is over that way, still attached to the uh, data logging rig for efficiency test, but we'll desolder that and get the board over here. Now, before we put it back together, so a few things we want to improve, actually, um, with this device. First of all, well, really just a fix, is that broken tube there. So I'll see if I can trim that and still have enough length without replacing the tube entirely but hopefully I can just trim that back and uh, plug it back on so that should be easy. Second thing I want to modify on this mod is um, the battery orientation. So if for whatever reason Lost Vapors decided okay let's put both cells the same orientation so both positive up uh, in the sled. There's not really any reason to do this um, apart from maybe they think it's unique or looks cool, but really what's happening is um, you've got extra wiring. So I did a little diagram. Let's see if this makes any sense. Uh, that This is how it normally is with two series cells. They're, they're opposite, they sit opposite polarity like that. And it makes it easy because all you have to do is join the positive and negative of the two cells in the sled, and then you run two wires to the board uh, the main two power wires and then you've got a little thin sense wire here so the board can tell what individual voltages the batteries are at um, and, and this is the way they've done it so what they've had to do is loop a long wire all the way up to the other positive from this cell's negative and then of course your same two separate positive and negative wires back to the board your main power and then the sense wire off this loop so it's just kind of a bit dumb. There's a few reasons why you wouldn't want that, really. Extra wires, first of all. They don't use the thickest wires. and um, You're going to lose some, some power across these. So there's going to be some voltage drop, which is never good. Don't really want that. And just, just more wires snaking through the device. And I always think the less wiring you can have inside a device, the better. Less wiring, less connections, um, sort of the way to go. So... We'll see if we can modify this back to a standard sort of configuration. And I should just be able to cut this um, sticker in half and flip that around. Now the only thing I did wonder about was these contacts. Because they're different contacts and sometimes they do that to prevent you actually putting them the wrong way around. They used to do that with the DNA 200 board which would blow a fuse um, if you put it reverse polarity. So it was quite important that... Um, that you couldn't physically get a connection if you put the battery the wrong way around. It's not the case anymore with the 250C because it's um, it's reverse polarity protected and it doesn't blow a fuse, so it's sort of not as big a deal. But also we want to just keep in mind the way the contact's actually going to touch the battery, um, whether it's going to make proper, proper contact, I guess you'd say. Um, I don't think it's going to matter. Like, you just have to make sure that there's no shorting risk at the top of the battery the um the positive contact you know if you had a damaged wrap there's negative right there on the cell can so it's absolutely imperative that they never get shorted out um, that's absolute disaster if that happens but i think in this case it, I, I think it's okay because the what would normally be the negative contact is smaller than what they're using as a positive so there should be less risk of a contact bridging across in the event you had a damage wrap or insulator there um, but just take that with a grain of salt like you know if you want to do this yourself if you want to do this mod all the risk is on you you're, you're on your own don't say VMG told you to do it after you blow yourself up but I don't think many people are, if any are going to actually try this themselves but you've been warned no responsibility on my part with you what happens if you do this uh, but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to give that a shot and uh, figure out uh, how this goes back together. I might have to look at my video on the disassembly. I don't know. Yeah, well, I'll be back in a minute once we get somewhere with it.
There's the poor DNA250 board attached to the, uh, what was this, efficiency testing rig. So yeah, I got that rigged up to the Arduino thing I've made for testing efficiency. I might post a link for uh, graphs. I'm not sure I'm going to show them yet until I do the post. Anyway, uh, I've got to get this board <laughs> off this rig. So I've got the soldering iron heating up and we will desolder that, get our board and start figuring out this wiring in the case thing. <laughs> Alrighties then. There's so much stuff in this mod. There's just stuff everywhere. It's like Boss Vapes just trying to increase their um, bill of materials going on here. There's little rings and screws and plates and retainers and all sorts of stuff going on. So what I'm doing basically is just getting the contacts actually out of their holders and then I'll just arrange how I want the contacts. So we're going to have the two main uh, power wires from the batteries coming out the bottom here. Am I even in shot? No, close enough. Uh, two wires coming out the bottom, going straight to the board. I'll do it so the one closest to the negative, oh, so they basically so they match up on the side that the DNA wants it, negative, positive, so I have positive on this side. We'll end up getting rid of one of these wires. So what will happen is we'll join these two top contacts because that, that'll be the series connection and there won't be any actual power flowing through these wires which there would have been before. There will be just one sense wire that joins off this connection to go back to the board uh, so the DNA can see the, the two individual cell levels. Uh, yeah, so basically that's it. Join those two. One little sense wire coming down and these two contacts, bottom contacts, will be the two powers very short, straight to the board. Right, that's the game plan. And back together! Yay! They only had to take that apart like a hundred times because I kept messing things up and forgetting screws and wires wrong length, but that's 
just how it goes. It's always a bit of fun. Um, so we'll plug this bottle back in. Throw some batteries in it. I'll prove that we're uh, in normal series mode orientation instead of the goofy uh, positives up. Both positives up. And it's alive! Yep. There we go. Working. Woo! I don't know why that was on 200. Uh, yeah. Pretty happy about that. Should have um, less voltage drop over those wires. Um, thicker wires as well. So that'll also help. And fix the tube as well. Um, if you own a Lost Vape drone, it might be worth just um, popping this top cap off and having a look at that squonk tube. Um, with a little, the little clip they use around it and the way it has to bend, there might have been a few that have um, had that tube nicked. So you wouldn't notice when you're using it, but it could, like if it's got a little nick in that tube, in the squonk tube, that's not good, obviously. It's going to um, leak out there and fill up into the device and go everywhere. So uh, for the sake of taking three screws out, if you've got a Torx bit, well, you'll need it. Um, yeah, Torx bit will fit that. It's actually a um, an Allen key. I don't know why they've used normal like hex key here, and then Torx there. It's a little bit weird, but um, that same size Torx head will actually fit the Allen key anyway. So it doesn't matter too much. Um, and that's a T7, T7, and it's really handy to have a little set of these Torx bits. Um, you can normally get them at an electronic shop or something like that, or just eBay, whatever. Pretty cheap. Um, yeah, so there she is. Back in action. Am I doing that the right way? No. There we go. Back in one piece. Cool. I uh, will catch you next time. <laughs> Cheers.